mga hinigugma diya ni Kristo. The fourth Sunday of Easter is designated as the Good Shepherd Sunday. We often see images or paintings of Jesus with his staff and several sheep around him, and one particular sheep on his shoulders or around his neck or in his bosom that seems to have a special attention from him. But there is also another painting which dramatically portrays the role of Jesus as the Good Shepherd. In it we see a wounded and crying sheep strangled in a bush by the ravine, and Jesus is trying to reach out to it with his wounded hand caused by the thorny bush. Jesus is the Good Shepherd, and I'm sure every Israelite could immediately accept that image. They are the sheep. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd is one of the most popular psalms of many among us. It is no surprise that Psalm 23 is one of the three psalms recommended in the internet to be prayed amid COVID-19 pandemic. The other two are Psalm 27, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? And Psalm 91, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms which desperately appeal for God's divine intervention. Indeed, mga kaigsunan, praying Psalm 23 and knowing that Jesus is our Good Shepherd during these times can prove refreshing for our souls. It can also give us peace of mind and indeed courage to face this health and financial crisis. But why is Jesus our Good Shepherd? What does a shepherd do to his sheep? Among others, three things. He provides, He protects, He promises fullness of life. The Good Shepherd provides food for the sheep. That is why He brings them to green pastures. It is often said that sheep are short-sighted. It is the shepherd who can look even at far distance and know where the green pastures are. If we own that image, we know that in this time, Jesus provides even in the midst of pandemic, like vitamin C, face mask, even for city jail. He provides direction because as we made mention, sheep are often short-sighted so much so that the shepherd is needed to lead them to the right direction. In another part of the gospel, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6. He is the way, and in him can we find green pastures, and we will never get lost in our journey. As Psalm 23, 2, 3 says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He guides me along the right path. Then we know too well Jesus protects. The good shepherd protects the sheep. I am the gate, he said, and whoever enters through me will be saved. We know by practice that the shepherd is willing to die for the sheep. It is said that a shepherd sleeps by the gate door because he guards the sheep from wild animals during the night. We also know that sheep by their very nature are vulnerable. They run very slow. They could not defend themselves from wolves or wild animals. They need a shepherd to defend them. And that's why Psalm 23, 4 would say, even though I walk, through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
when I am lost, He finds and brings me back. And in many instances in the gospel, we hear Him say, He lives in 99 in order to search for the lost one because every ship matters to Him. You and I matter to Him. And third, we say He promises fullness of life. In fact, this is what He did. I have come that they may have life and have it in all its fullness. Jesus bestows upon us goodness, mercy, and eternal life. And today in the season of Easter, we are reminded greater love no man has than to lay down his life for his friends. He died that we may have life. We know that these are comforting words in these times of uncertainty. When our language has changed due to the pandemic, social distancing, physical distancing, lockdown, flattening the curve, new normal. But today, in moments when we are afraid, we know we can trust, we must trust our Good Shepherd. I will be with you until the end of the ages, he assures us, Matthew 28, 20. Because we repeat, he died on the cross, he wants to save us. And St. Paul would say, if he did this when we were yet sinners, how much more shall we be assured of his love now that we are his friends, now that we are his brothers? Mga Hinigugma, I'd like to connect this and end with my appreciation of the many who do shepherding rules. I am sure you might not have thought about it, but at this time it might be good to point out and as a bishop to express my sincerest gratitude to the many who, having experienced the love of the Good Shepherd, likewise do shepherding roles. I'd like to say to our beloved priests how we would have wanted now to be back to normal, but not yet. But please know that celebrating even Misa Sini Pupulo, doing holy hours, doing our prayers, praying the rosary, doing our vigils, we are doing shepherding rules for our people. Know that the fruits of these prayers and the sacraments that we perform are in many ways providing and protecting and promoting life for our people. I take this occasion to thank the many who do shepherding roles, our government officials, our governor, Governor Garcia, Mayor Labilla, Vice Mayor Mike Rama, General Ferro, you know, uh, Michael Dino, and many others. We know how much they think of the good of the community. I was touched when once I asked the governor, have you visited your Apo yet? I know the Apo she has with, of course, Christina. And she told me, no bishop in this time of COVID, I have to make a sacrifice. I say this because not only they, you know, I know of the many soldiers who could not go home. But of course, our frontliners, it's not often that you hear you are doing shepherding roles, but today, you know, how much you protect life, how much you try to provide your services that we may have life. Those of our brothers in the city jail, you know, you are the shepherds who try to protect and of course to provide and to promote life. I'd like to come in in a special way, of course, in the church, our own Caritas and Laico, they are in many ways in the front lines, doing outreach programs, providing food and, and, and drink and, and medicine and face masks and many forms of services. You, our friends in the media, you do many a uh, wonderful role, you know, in the shepherding of our people. My dear friends, we come to a point wherein, of course, we appreciate how Jesus cared for us such that He offered His life on the cross. I'd like to pause for a moment and remember the many who were blessed by the Lord to follow that role. I remember years ago, a mother, Jana Beretta Mola, who, when she delivered her baby, 
being a pediatrician, told the doctor, Doctor, in case of complication, please save my baby. She delivered the baby. Eventually, she died. We remember Maximilian Kolbe. Like Jesus, he offered his life that another prisoner may live. I remember Justice Abraham Lee when I first came to Cebu 20 years ago. In that fateful Don Juan accident, he tried to save a lot of people, swimming into the boat and pulling some out, and another one, and another one. And he came back to save one, and he died. Lately, of course, we, we know of Judge Gerardo and uh, Luella Estufa from, of course, uh, Mandawi. When their house was burned, they were already out. But they tried to come back for their apo, John, uh, and eventually the three of them died. The, the point is just like Jesus who offered his life many in our times because of love take the risk and many really offer their life I just mentioned this because I know that it's not often said that you have a shepherding role but today I know parents who even in the time of COVID when they pray together and tell about faith and catechism and talk about Christian values, they are good shepherds to their children. They am aware of how now we begin to appreciate the environment and remind people to take care of this beautiful earth. We become good shepherds. I know of the many who, because we are now aware of how the Lord has been good to us, has been a shepherd to us, in small ways, become as well responsible to each other. Mga Inigugma, in today's fourth Sunday of Easter, the Good Shepherd Sunday, first, we thank the Lord for being our Good Shepherd. We know how much He loves us as He provides and protects and promises life. We thank the many who in different ways likewise provides and protects and promotes life. They are doing wonderful shepherding functions. Let us pray that even amidst COVID, realizing that above all the Lord, our Good Shepherd is with us. We who journey with one another may also become shepherds, even in small ways, because we provide, we protect, we promote life. Kanyong tanan, may the Lord in His love and mercy bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.